Sorry, I had to actually cut that one off because I ended up telling information that was not for me to decide. <coughs> <coughs> to tell. So I had to cut that off short. But what I was saying is I'm not going to have someone who's going to try and tell me what kind of person I am, and then try and tell, say that I'm victimizing myself. She doesn't know me well enough to even say those things, okay? But anyways, um, she then, I, I asked a friend, and I said, you, because I got the feeling that this was not her first rodeo. This was not her first time, you know, treating people this way, and doing this, and that she's been doing this for either her whole life, or for some time. Crazy thing is, she actually um, said, oh, you haven't had your first kiss. You want me to get, kiss you? So happy I said no. So happy I said no. She was my first freaking kiss. That would have been the worst. I am so happy that I am a cautious SOB. So happy. Like, I was like, oh, that's so sweet of you that you'd be willing to do that just so I can have my first kiss. But no. Glad I was like, nah, rather save it for someone I'm dating. Thanks, but no thanks. Um, but yeah. So, I think I'm gonna, uh, uh walk. Walk and talk. <laughs> um, but as I was saying, I'm gonna put the stuff up so the car, no, well, no, I come back when it's colder. Anyways, so, oh, wait a minute, so as I was saying, uh, she tries to go ahead and tell me what kind of person I am, says I'm victimizing myself. And all that. And then not only that. But then. On top. She. Um, finding out from a friend. That. <coughs> finding out from a friend. Who's known her way longer. I asked him, I said, you know, just have a question. I'm not trying to involve you in anything, but I just want to know something because you know this girl better than I do, okay? You've known her way longer than me, and because of that, like, i like to hear your opinion on it, her, and just answer this question. And so I said, you know, is she the kind of person that likes to fight? He ended up telling me, yeah, and he, he told me the, uh, the fight, he said, I don't really know what it was about, but he knew it was about rape and it was political. And she did a script thing, which asked, you know, someone who had experienced that, how was it for them? I'm not going to go into who and what and everything, because like I said, I'm trying to keep it a little more anonymous. But still, that's jacked up. And it's more jacked up because of, like I said, of like some other stuff. But I can't tell you why. Because it's not for me to disclose with the world or anything. But it was screwed up for her to say that because, you know, telling that to... Uh, Someone who was a victim of rape, like, oh, how was it, and crap like that, is so incredibly rude and disgusting and just out of line, out of bounds, everything. And so, the fact that she would do that, you know, knowing people, like, we both have known people that have gone through that crap, is screwed up, like... 
I would never ask one of my friends that I know that have had that happen to them. Oh, how was it? Like, I don't know if it was like that or if it was like, well, what happened to you? But anyways, the kid that I know, he said he naturally went off because it pissed him off. Because you don't say that kind of stuff. But... someone behind me because of the sound. But anyways, um, as I was saying, it was just, it was rude, like, hearing that. I was like, wow, I did not know that. I knew they had a fight, and I knew who was involved, but I didn't know about what. And, um, you know, once I found out, I was like, oh, okay, so yeah, this is not her first rodeo. Every time it's political, she definitely goes for the juggler with people and really just likes to, you know, be rude. And I trust him because he's not someone to make something up. He's not at all. He is not that person. And so I'm like, okay, let me go. And, um, you know, I was like, thanks for that. But before that, I had already, like, cut her off. Like, I already unfollowed, unfriended and blocked her because I was like you know what I'm not gonna have that kind of person I felt it's weird because I felt like a long time ago like she's not gonna be in my life but you know I, I just get those feelings where it's like I feel like this person is gonna be in my life for a long time and is gonna be good and then there's other times where it's like yeah this person is not gonna be in my life but I don't know when or where it's gonna happen or how I just know it's not we're not gonna be together for very long like we're not gonna have a friendship for very long and you know that ended up being the case I ended the friendship because I would never I would never say that if it wasn't true like I'm the kind of person where I'll tell you if you're trying to I will say you know what it's coming off like you're trying to victimize yourself like you're trying to be a victim and I said I don't know whether you noticed that or not but that's how it's coming off and I would say that to you and you would and if you got hurt by it it was never meant to hurt you but it was meant to let you know like hey this is how you're coming off and it's not pretty or good so you know if that's not a please just let me know because I like, you don't want to think so poorly of a friend of yours. You don't want to. But, you know, not everyone's going to behave the way they should or anything. But like I said. So, we time goes on and whatnot. And um, I talked to him more and more. But, you know, we talked about other stuff. But he said, yeah. He goes, it seems that she, you know, likes to fight with people and everything. And... She kind of does that stuff and whatnot. And she goes, yeah, she's a, she's a bitch. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, thanks for letting me know. But I was like, yeah, I am, I did all that. I, like, she's gone. And he's like, yeah. He goes, it was hard for me to accept the friend request. For me, I'm like, yeah, you brave soldier. I'm like, I was thinking, like, you're a lot nicer than I am. Because I know that's just rude. And I, like I said, I'm not going to deal with someone like that. Uh, I'll tell you more uh, later because there's more information. But a different person started something yesterday night. And I finished it today and I did the same thing to them today. I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? Mm. Another person Number accusing me. Thank you for arriving early. Okay. Like I said, um... You know, I, this person accused me of being mean and disrespectful and then was saying that I was making um, a racist joke when it was just a joke and um, didn't care to understand but wanted to just have their own political agenda. So I ended up just saying peace out but blocked them and everything. I have photos of that too so I can always show you. But I'll tell you that story probably later. But it's insane. And I'm noticing more and more if I have to delete people out of my life because, um, you know, 
they don't have to they they don't know how to be respectful when voicing a politi- their opinion whether political or not then I'm sorry but I'm going to be done with you cuz I'm not going to have ta- someone tell me what kind of person I am because I don't agree and because of what I'm saying and I'm just not going to have you in my life like I don't need you to be a part of my life if you're going to go ahead and tell me what kind of person I am if you said that was rude that's different you're just saying what it was said was rude but you saying i'm a mean disrespectful rude person then you're making a, a statement about me and accuse me of something and i know i i don't do that crap so yeah i'm done with two people and it's fine because really they don't have a huge ha- impact on me Anyways, I'm going to go. Got to go. Bye. Love you. Talk to you more.